One of the things that we've strived to achieve when the weapons and armour is a sense of factual reality, a gritty realism that the actors are not being handed a prop with which to act with, but rather they will live or die by their success with which they can wield the sword. I have no interest in prisoners. Kill them all. By the, um, the way they would carry their armour, uh, the way they would present their heraldry. So when we have uh, crowds of this type, usually an animator personally would have to go in and individually place each character and have them do different things. But in this case, there was no way we could do that with thousands and thousands of characters. So we had to use this program Massive. The most important aspect of using Massive is to build the agents first. So the pre-production phase is where all the work goes. The motion for these agents is being created partly from motion capture and partly from keyframing. Our motion capture director did an incredible job just picking various different talents so that we have very different fighting styles, very different walks. So an ogre walks completely different from a minotaur and a fawn has a certain kind of delicate walk. In Massive, we actually create brains for each agent, so, and we break it down into different modules. We even have like a death module that detects when somebody gets hit, and each person has a certain level of stamina, so once they keep getting hit, they actually eventually die. Or our new instant death thing, where if you get hit by a falling rock, you die instantly. So we just have to break it all into different little pieces. How do I walk across terrain? How do I fight against someone? If somebody's next to me and they're too close, I have to turn away. To the death. For Narnia and for In preparing for this, we literally had to take every shot and divvy it all out to everyone involved. From, you know, when we were going to need real horses, when we were going to use all CG, when we were going to need real bodies for the centaurs. In doing so, we also knew we weren't going to be able to use motion control technology, so we were going to have to create clean plates from helicopter plates, which is nearly impossible, but we knew we'd had to do it. Um, we have to reconstruct the backgrounds time and time again for scenes and sometimes create them out of nowhere. I mean, there's shots in the battle where there's nothing real in the shot. It's all created either all digital characters, a mix of green screen actors and digital characters with CG environments. All of those logistical things had to be worked out. And ultimately, from the initial days of the conceptualization and pre-visualization of the battle to the realization, Andrew's vision's been sort of the linchpin to get us all along the way. Hero animation is actually something that's been hand animated. Usually our hero animation goes about three or four characters deep in the scene. So we have scenes up to 15 and 20 characters that are hand animated by our animators. And then beyond that, you have a lot of massive. 